Hey guys, it's Lupti and today in this video we're going to make a spiral in trinket broccoli using a 4 eye loop. So first uh, we're going to use the first video and the spiral that we made in the first video and we're going to make the same spiral but using a 4 eye loop. And then I'm going to show you a different example, a more complex example using the same 4 eye loop. Alright, so let's get started. Before we start coding though, I want to go through the loop section for uh, Trinket Blockly. So the first loop block is the repeat 10 times. This we used uh, in the previous square spiral and we have often used that in other coding experiences too. And that's something that we are fairly comfortable using. And then there's the repeat blank times too. It's basically the same thing as repeat 10 times, but instead of a number, you can put a variable in. So these two are similar. And then there's the repeat while do. And what that does is it's a while loop. So while something is true, you will do something. And that's a type of loop. So these three loops we have been working with so far. And then there comes the count with J from something to something by something. This is the loop we will work on today. And it's called the for I loop. And then after that is called the for each loop. And basically for each loop is similar to for I loop. But where for I loop works with numbers, for each loop works with items in a list. All right, let's get started. So what does this block mean? Well, it's setting a variable called i, and it's telling us to count with i from a number to a number by a number. What? OK, so the from, from a number to a number is just a range. So where do you want to count from, and where do you want to stop counting to? So let's say I want to count from 1. To 100. So if you were to count from 1 to 100 right now, just verbally, how many numbers would you count? 100. Yeah. Well, that's only possible if you counted by ones. So if you added one every time, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so on and so forth, until we go to 100. Well, if we turn that into a 2, we would go 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 2 is 5. So 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. And instead of doing counting 100 numbers, we will count only 50 numbers. And what this loop does is the number of times we, we, we count is the number of times this loop will run. So let's change this back to 1. In this case, this loop will run 100 times. Not bad, huh? Well, let's actually make a spiral using this loop. So we will, obviously we want to move forward, but before that we got to put our pen down. Oh, Pen down. And then instead of moving forward by a set number, since this number is dynamic, that's a keyword there, it's dynamic means it's moving, it's changing every time. So we want to use this I. Well, there we go. And yeah. And then don't forget, after we move forward, we have to turn a certain degrees. And I believe that will still be 90. Let's try that out. All right, so as this is running, we see that it's, it's a spiral, obviously, but it's a very, very tiny spiral. Well, how do we change that? <laughs> well, let's change this by 1 to 10. And what this will do is it'll change the length. It'll add 10 every time it changes, every time it goes through the loop. So the first line it'll, it'll make is going to be 1. The second line it'll be it, it, it'll make will be a length of 11 and then 
21, 31, and so, so on and so forth. So let's run this again. There we go. And as you see, this, this loop only, only ran for 10 times. As I said, for loops count from 1 to 100 by 10. Since we increased this number to 10, there's only 10 times you can increment by 10 before you reach 100. So if we want to make more loops, well, we just change this to 1,000. Let's see where this goes. Okay. Since we did, we, we put a very big number, this is going to go on for a long time, but you get the point. Okay, so this was a square spiral. Let's try making a circle spiral. Well, how, how do we do that? So what do we have here? Well, obviously we're using a for loop with a variable named k this time. And what it's doing is it's going from 1 through 90 by an increment of 1, meaning that it's going to go through this loop 90 times, with k increasing by 1 every time the loop goes through. So we put our pen down, and then we move forward by k. And as we know, k changes every, every time the loop runs. Uh, and then we turn around by, instead of 90 as we had for the square, we turn around by 20. And what this does is it, it makes the, the spiral a bit more wide. And the wider the spiral gets, the more circular it gets. And that's it. This is how you get a circular spiral. In the next video, you're going to learn how to make intricate designs and really cool spirals using not only for loops, but also functions. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys liked it. Bye!